Hello, all you budding coders out there. It's a big ho 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 from Professor Cody, and it's time to code a Christmas activity. In this activity, you have to get Santa dancing so that he's ready for Christmas. Now, coders, before we start coding the game, why don't you hit the subscribe button so that you can find out first about Fan Dabadozi new games and some really cool Professor Cody competitions. And remember, if you like making this activity, give it a big Professor Cody thumbs up. To start you off, I've already made a scratch template that includes all of the sprites and other ho 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 resources that you need to make this activity. To open the template, simply click on the link in the description below. Okay, let's start by clicking see inside. And we can see we have one sprite this time, just Santa on his own there, but lots of different costumes for Santa. Four different costumes in fact. Now let's get the green flag block and let's move on and get the nice forever block there and we're going to put next costume inside there so let's get next costume and we're going to have a wait there so we're going to choose wait one second you can change that later on if you think it's a long amount of time. Let's put this over here and you can see Santa's already dancing. It's going from one costume to the next costume. He goes through all four costumes. That's looking good. Okay, now we're going to add some music. Get the uh, green flag block forever. And let's find a nice song here. Let's choose in here. And we're going to choose a song here, Dance Funky. So let's just grab that and put it inside here. So now when Santa's uh, moving, you can hear the music. There it goes. Right, now, that's a simple way of doing it. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a more complicated program using repeat loops. So a repeat loop means that Santa will do the same dance over and over again. So let's get the forever to begin with there. And we're going to put a repeat loop inside the forever. Let's call it uh, repeat five. And let's get a switch costume now. And drag the switch costume into the uh, f repeat loop there. And we're going to start with costume of Santa one there. We're going to wait one second. And then we're going to add another Santa costume. So let's go here again. And we're going to switch this time to Santa costume three. Okay, very good. And we're going to put a wait in there again. And what we need to do now is we need to duplicate that. So we've got that twice, but change the actual costumes that are in there. So we've got that costume there and we're choosing the last costume there. And that fits in here nicely. Then we can put them inside the forever loop. So basically it will go through the first set of costumes for five repeats and then the second set of costumes for five repeats. Looking good. Yes, I like that. He's dancing nicely. Let's stop it here. And we can do the same with the music as well. We can add different types of music as well. So let's try that now. What we're going to do is we're going to take the music out for a second. And we're going to look for a uh, repeat loop here. So let's get the repeat loop. And we're going to wait repeat two there. So put that inside there, that loop. And we're going to duplicate that. Let's duplicate it again. So we've got three of them. Put them together and put them inside. So each of the loops will repeat two times. Okay. So each repeat loop will run twice. There's the music. we're going to make another type of program using uh, the space bar there so when you click on the space bar it will then do a dance so let's get the repeat loop again here and we're going to choose two costumes again and a weight in the middle of the costumes so we'll grab a weight and put it there and 
we're going to duplicate that so we got two of those so basically it's quicker if you duplicate the bits of the code there it makes it a lot faster so let's put that inside here now and that's looking really nice and we can run that now and we can run that and if we press the space bar we will do the dance which is inside the space bar so you can control his movements much easier using this method excellent let's try another one now this time rather than press the space bar what we're going to do is you press the a key on the keyboard so we'll get this particular block here but let's change it to a looking good and we'll do a similar program but with different different costumes so let's just change this here so we need the same program but we're going to change the costumes put that one in here and drag this back to the top here that's it and let's just change these costumes So now we have two different dances, one where you press the space bar, one where you press the A key. Fantastic! Now, I'm sure you've enjoyed doing that, but why not try some of our challenges? Well coders, did you manage to complete the challenges? Well done! Remember. So link your completed activities in the comments below and why not let me know if there's a game you'd like me to make for you. Well, it's a great big ho 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 from Professor Cody. Until next time.